I was gearing up for the next lab and I opened up the topology and it just so happens the next lab will be dynamic lab. But I wasn't thinking about that at the time. So I opened up the lab and I, this is the topology. And I was like, oh, let me just make sure that I'm able to ping from the outside router to our DMZ. Do ping 10.1.2.2. And I was like, wait up. I thought I put an access list on the ASDN. So I opened up the ASDN. Let's just do it on the command line here. And I done show run access list. And I was like, we do have that access list saying permit ICMP from any host to 10.1.2.2. Now it was quite early in the morning. So as I said, I wasn't actually thinking, I was like, what's going on? So I tried again, but I tried from one of the loopbacks, do ping 143.12.0.1. No, no, so that's me pinging the loopback, do ping 10.1.2.2. And I was supposed to source it from 143.12.0.1. Again, the pings weren't working. So I was like, what is going on now? The whole point of this little brief video is that I use this troubleshooting tool on the ASA called Packet Tracer. So I went in and I was like, man, I'm not sure what's going on. Let me go into Packet Tracer. Packet Tracer is going to tell me exactly what's going on. So I want it to be coming in on the outside interface. So that's correct. I want it to be for ICMP. Now, as I said, it was early in the morning, so I wasn't even looking at this part here. So I said, okay, let's make our source address 143.12.0.1 and our destination as 10.1.2.2 and I said let's start guys I have a request from you if you're enjoying the free content I'm looking to increase my subscriber count to 4,000 subscribers by June but I can only do that if you give me the play special do you want to know what the play special is press like and yeah subscribe okay back to the video now these are important that you need to know the codes so type Eight, if I go into Google and I type ICMP types, we can see that zero is echo reply, so how it comes back. And if I say more items, we can see that type eight is echo and type zero is echo reply. And these are all the um, ICMP types if you ever need them going like, it says, I still use type 30 for trace route, even though it says it's deprecated. So, but the ones important for this lab are type eight and type zero. So I went back over to Packet Tracer and you can see that our ICMP type eight and type zero are there. Show the animation, let's start. And this is the command that it's going to send to the CLI. Packet Tracer input outside ICMP from a source address of 143.12.0.1 using ICMP type echo ICMP type echo reply 10 to the sort um, destination of 10.1.2.2 and it's going to put it in an XML format. Now, if I was actually going to type it onto the command line, I wouldn't use an XML format. I would use detailed, but we're going to send that and see what comes up. We see that the root lookup is fine. Access list is fine. The first NAT lookup is fine. Our IP options lookup is fine. The policy map inspect rule is fine. QRS is fine. The last inspect is fine, but then I saw that it was being blocked by a NAT rule. So I opened this up and I realized that I'd already got a static NAT. So to ping to 10.1.2.2 would never work. So then I jumped back onto the command line of our outside router and I done do ping 209.10.12. It might be .12.10.10. Dot 12, dot 200, and that worked, and then sourced it from the loopback, source 143.12.0.1, and that worked because the NAT was in place. And if we were going to do that packet tracer from the CLI, so I could do it here as well, what we would do, we would say packet tracer input, go into that outside interface equal to ICMP, it's going to be, have a source address of 143.12.0.1 with echo 
and echo reply going to 10.1.2.2 that's the one that will fail so you see phase one is the root lookup exactly like the animation phase two the access list it's being allowed by the access list phase three is nat the first nat rule is allowing it through which i think is like the source or the object or something like that ip options inspect is working qos inspect again and we can see that it's being dropped with our reverse path check of NAT. And this is because we've got a static NAT going to 209.10.12.200. So we can see that the result of the action is dropped. It is just a bit of a quick video there, an interjection video to show how I was um, troubleshooting what was going on and why I wasn't able to ping. But let's move on to dynamic NAT.